do you look exactly like your father or your mother if you don't look like your mother and father maybe you resemble your grandfather grandmother an uncle or an aunt all your traits the way you look talk or behave depend on microscopic structures present within the cells of your body these microscopic little structures were termed as factors by mendel and were later coined with the name of genes you have received half of the genes from your father and the other half from your mother let's study the factors which govern the expression of these genes in an individual in our today's class बच्चों बहुत सारे विज्ञानियों ने इनहेरिटेंस दी धारणा ते रोशनी पाउन दी कोशिश की पर कोई भी उस दे संबंध विच ठोस प्रमाण नहीं दे सकया मेंडेल दे लॉज ने उना सारे कारणा नु विस्तार पूर्वक दसया जिना करके असि अपने माता-पिता जा अपने दूजे परिवार दे मेंबरा नाल मेल खांदे हां द मेंडेल्स लॉज elucidated that characters are passed from parents to the next generation through gametes and the parent character that dominates its recessive counterpart gets expressed in the offspring this lesson discusses mendel's laws of inheritance upon completion of this topic learner will be able to describe the process of hybridization in the pea plant List the steps for hybridization. Explain the law of dominance and segregation. Prepare a Punnett square for monohybrid cross. Interpret the results obtained from the Punnett square. Use the Punnett square to determine genotypic and phenotypic ratio. Gregor Johann Mendel Gregor Mendel the father of modern genetics was born on 22nd of July 1822 in Austria Mendel de dil vich kudrat lai bahut pyar si usne common pea plant pisum sativum te kam karna shuru kita he observed the pattern of inheritance of seven pair of contrasting characters in the pea plant by cultivating around 28000 plants in a span of 7 years he self pollinated the first generation and observed that the pattern of inheritance was different in the second generation plants from his studies mendel derived three generalizations that became known as the laws of inheritance Mendel studied seven pairs of contrasting characters in the pea plant. These characters were height of the plant, tall plant and dwarf plant, color of the flower, violet or purple flowers and white flowers, position of the flower, axial flowers and terminal flowers, shape of the pod, inflated pods and constricted pods. color of the pod green pods and yellow pods shape of the seed round seeds and wrinkled seeds color of the seed yellow seeds and green seeds why did mendel choose pea plant pave mendel pea plant de kol accidentally hi aaya si par us di chon उस ले वरदान साबित हुई द चॉइस हेल्प्ड हिम बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजंस ऑल सेवन पेयर्स ऑफ कंट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर्स वर क्लियरली डिस्टिंक्टिव फॉर एग्जांपल द फ्लावर कलर वाज इदर वायलेट और वाइट द प्लांट्स वर इदर टॉल और शॉर्ट देयर वर नो प्लांट्स विद इंटरमीडिएट कलर और हाइट either in the parent or the offspring generation
these features of the pea plant simplified Mendel's work. Pea is a completely self-pollinated plant. The stamens and the pistil are completely enclosed by a keel. This rules out any chance of cross-fertilization because the flower is fertilized before it opens. Therefore, it became easy for Mendel to produce true breeding plants without much effort. Hybridization in pea plant. Mendel started with 14 varieties of peas which were entirely similar except for one character with contrasting traits. He checked them for purity till he became sure that the varieties produced true breeding progeny. He then selected plants exhibiting pairs of contrasting characters and crossbred them. Such a cross between two plants that exhibit two forms of a pair of contrasting character is termed as monohybrid cross. Because of the self-pollinating ability of pea plant, Mendel had to take utmost care while performing hybridization. Let us consider the case where Mendel crossed a true breeding tall plant with a true breeding dwarf plant. He collected the seeds produced as a result of the cross and grew them to generate plants of the first hybrid generation, the first filial progeny or the F1 generation. Let us repeat what Mendel did. The graphic shows a purple flower and a white flower. For the purpose of clear differentiation, the two contrasting traits, a cross between these two flowers of different colors will be done. Purple flower is from a true breeding tall plant and this white flower is from a true breeding dwarf plant. Remove the keel with the help of a pair of scissors. This exposes the anther and the stigma of the flower. Remove the anthers of the purple flower very carefully. Next, use a brush. Transfer anthers from the white flower to the stigma of the purple flower. Pod is developed from this fertilized ovary. Let's grow these seeds as Mendel germinated. The seeds generate the plants of F1 generation. The F1 progeny. Mendel predicted that the seeds from a cross between a purebred tall and a purebred dwarf plant would produce plants with medium height. However, the results were against his expectations. He obtained all tall plants in the F1 generation. He performed similar crosses between plants with other pair of contrasting traits. In all his experiments, Mendel observed that one of each pair of contrasting characters appeared in the F1 generation. He called the trait that was expressed in the F1 plants as the dominant trait and the one that was not expressed as the recessive trait. Therefore, the tall trait is dominant over the recessive trait. Similarly, from the crosses between other pairs of contrasting characters, Mendel inferred that the purple color of flower is dominant over white color. The green seed color was dominant over yellow and so on. In genetics, we use alphabetical symbols to denote the dominant and the recessive character. A dominant character is represented by a capital letter and its recessive counterpart by the small letter of the same alphabet. For example, we use capital T to represent tallness. 
and small t to represent dwarfness. Let us sum up the result of the experiment. Parental generation will be tall plant crossed with dwarf plant. In F1 generation, cross between a pure bred tall and a pure bred dwarf plants will be done, which will give all tall plants at F1 generation. So, cross between a pure bred tall and a pure bred dwarf plants will give all tall plants at F1 generation, which shows that tall is dominant over dwarf trait. The F2 progeny. Mendel allowed the F1 plants to self pollinate and sowed the seeds obtained from them. The results were very different from the F1 generation plants. Although a majority of plants displayed the dominant character in the F2 generation, a few resembled the recessive parent, that is, dwarf plant. After doing repeated experiment, Mendel observed that the dominant and the recessive character occurred in a definite ratio in F2 generation. Mendel performed similar crosses for other pairs of contrasting characters. He allowed self-pollination in Fn generation plants and sowed the seeds to raise the F2 plants. He observed that in the F2 plants of all such crosses, the ratio of plants showing dominant trait to those showing recessive trait was always close to 3 is to 1. Dominant trait to recessive trait, that is, 3 is to 1. To test the role of parental sex on the inheritance of dominant trait, Mendel performed reciprocal crosses where he interchanged the sex of the dominant and recessive parents. He found that whether the dominant parent was male or female, the F2 ratio was always 3 dominant is to 1 recessive. The results of the experiments performed by Mendel can be easily understood using Punnett squares. These squares were developed by a British scientist, Reginald C. Punnett, to explain the production of gametes and the formation of zygote in F1 and F2 generation plants. Let us see how does Punnett square looks like. Let's draw Punnett square for a cross between a homozygous tall plant and a homozygous dwarf plant. You will observe that each of the pure bred tall and dwarf parents produce a single type of gamete that fuse to produce all tall plants in the F1 progeny. When two F1 plants are self-crossed, two types of gametes are produced by each plant. Half of the gametes produced by each F1 plant have the dominant allele for tallness capital T whereas the other half has the recessive allele small t. Each gamete has 50% possibility of combining with a gamete of its own type and 50% possibility of combining with a gamete having allele for contrasting character. As a result of random fertilization, the resultant F2 zygotes can have either capital T, capital T, capital T, small t or small t, small t composition. Mendel's factors and genes. The reappearance of the hidden recessive character in the F2 confirmed the fact there are certain determiners for these characters in the parents which are being stably transmitted to the offspring through gametes. Mendel termed these determiners as factors. The factors 
were later termed as genes. A gene is a unit of inheritance that contains all the information required for the expression of a particular trait. Genes that determine contrasting characters are called alleles. These alternative forms of the same genes lead to the expression of contrasting characters. An individual normally has two alleles for each gene, one contributed by the mother and one by the father. If both the alleles are same, the individual is homozygous for that allele, while if they are different, the individual is heterozygous for that allele. Because the characters are controlled by genes, we can use symbols discussed earlier to represent genes. Therefore, a homozygous tall plant will be represented as capital TT and a homozygous dwarf plant is represented by the lower case alphabets small tt. A heterozygous plant will be represented as capital T and small t. There are two more terms which you often hear, genotype and phenotype. The genetic constitution of an organism represented by these alphabets is known as its genotype, whereas the visual expression of the genotype manifested as distinguishable characteristics by an organism is known as its phenotype. For example, a plant with the genotype capital TT has a tall phenotype. In order to determine the genotype of the F2 plants, Mendel self-pollinated them. He found that the dwarf plants which were one-fourth of the F2 progeny continued to produce dwarf offsprings in the subsequent generations. Mendel deduced that these plants were homozygous, that is, small tt, for the dwarf allele. When the tall plants Fn generation were self-pollinated, the results obtained were varying. One-fourth of the total F2 progeny bred true for tallness, whereas half of the F2 progeny produced heterozygous, tall and one-fourth dwarf plants in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Therefore, the F2 tall plants could either have homozygous, that is, capital TT or heterozygous that is capital T and small t genotype. To ascertain the genotype of F2 tall plants, Mendel crossed them with their recessive parents. A cross where an organism is crossed with its recessive parents is termed test cross. Test cross of some of the tall plants yielded phenotypically dominant and recessive characters in the ratio of 1 is to 1, whereas other tall plants yielded all phenotypically dominant offspring. Mendel could easily interpret that the former that produced dominant and recessive in the ratio of 1 is to 1 had heterozygous that is capital T and small t genotype while the letter had homozygous dominant genotype. The graphic explains the interpretation of test crosses. Let's do a test cross between a purple flawed plant and a white flawed recessive parent. Here color is the characteristic feature capital P denotes the dominant color purple and small p denotes the recessive character that is white color. A homozygous purple flawed plant yields all purple flawed plant when it is test crossed while a heterozygous plant yields 
purple and white in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Mendel's Interpretations and Laws Based on his interpretations from his experiments on monohybrid crosses, Mendel proposed two laws, the law of dominance and the law of segregation. The interpretations and the laws are cited one by one. Interpretation 1 the resemblance of F1 hybrid to one of the parents and the 3 is to 1 ratio in F2 indicated that each individual has a pair of alleles that determine a character. The allele that is expressed is dominant over the other. The same character was expressed in the F1 when reciprocal crosses were performed. Law 1. When the factors from two plants with contrasting characters are mixed, the factor that dominates is expressed in the F1 generation. For example, when factors from a tall and dwarf plants were mixed, the tall factor seemed to dominate over the dwarf factor. This is known as Mendel's law of dominance. Interpretation 2. The appearance of hidden characters in the F2 plants in the ratio of 3 is to 1 proved that there is no blending of contrasting traits in hybrids. A trait may not show up in an individual but can still be passed on to the next generation. It also proved the fact that each individual plant contains two factors for each character which separate at the time of formation of gametes. The true breeding parents are homozygous which means that the gametes produced will be of single type. F1 hybrids plants contain different alleles of the same factor which will segregate to produce equal numbers of two types of gametes. Law 2. A hybrid produced from a cross between two pure bred parents differing in a pair of contrasting alleles possesses both types of parental alleles which subsequently separate or segregate during formation of gametes. This is known as Mendel's law of segregation. Aj the class which asi bohat sare important terms the artha bare janaya hai. Aao in our terms the ek var fir dohrai kar liye. Alleel One of the two or more alternative forms of a gene that occur at the same location on each chromosome of a pair. These alternative forms of the same genes lead to the expression of contrasting characters. An individual normally has two alleles for each gene, one contributed by the mother and one by the father. If both the alleles are same, the individual is homozygous for that allele, while if they are different, the individual is heterozygous for that allele. Recessive trait. One of the alternative forms of a trait that exhibits no expressivity in the phenotype in its presence of its corresponding contrasting allele. A recessive trait is only expressed when the gene responsible for it is present in the homozygous condition. We use lower case of an alphabet to represent a recessive trait. For example, the genotype of a dwarf plant is represented by the lower case alphabets small tt. Dominant trait. One of the alternative forms of a trait that is expressed even when the gene responsible for it 
is present in the heterozygous condition. We use the uppercase of an alphabet to represent a dominant trait. Therefore, the genotype of a homozygous tall plant will be represented as capital TT, while genotype of a heterozygous tall plant will be represented as capital T and small t. Genotype the total genetic constitution of an organism. Phenotype The visual expression of the genotype manifested as distinguishable characteristics by an organism. F1 generation The first filial generation that is usually produced as a result of a cross between two homozygous pure parental types which are genetically different. F2 generation The second filial generation produced as a result of interbreeding or self-breeding the members of F1 generation. Students, let us take up an assessment to test our understanding of the complete topic. The first question is, the genotype of a true breeding plant is A. Homozygous dominant B. Homozygous recessive C. Either A or B D. Neither A nor B It is heterozygous And the correct answer is C. Either A or B the next question is, predict the genotype of the parents in the dominant and recessive characters which appear in the ratio of 3 is to 1 in the progeny. And the options are A, capital TT crossed with small tt, B, capital T and small t crossed with small tt, C, capital T and small t crossed with capital T and small t. The correct answer is C, capital T and small t crossed with capital T and small t. My next question is, the allele that masks the effects of the other is dash and the masked allele is dash. The options are A. Homozygous and heterozygous B. Homozygous and recessive C. Dominant and recessive D. Dominant and incomplete And the correct answer is C. Dominant and recessive the next question is, the phenotypic ratio obtained from a test cross between a heterozygous individual and recessive parent is dash. You got it right. The correct answer is 1 is to 1. My next question is, what is the most common genotypic outcome in the F2 generation of a cross between a tall plant and a dwarf plant. A. 1 is to 1 B. 1 is to 3 C. 3 is to 1 and D. 1 is to 2 is to 1. I hope you guessed it right. The correct answer is D. 1 is to 2 is to 1. The next question is round seed that is capital R in pea plant is dominant over wrinkled seed that is small r. What is the probability of a homozygous offspring in a cross capital RR crossed with small rr in Fn generation? The options are A 0%, B 25%, C 50% and D, 
hundred percent and the answer is a zero percent next question what is the name given to a cross between an organism of f1 generation with an organism whose genotype is same as the recessive parent a monohybrid cross b dihybrid cross c back cross d test cross and the correct answer is d test cross i hope i have made a successful attempt in clearing all your doubts regarding the topic thanks for your attention and see you in the next class until next time goodbye